we finally did it! One day, 23 hours! You know what that means? You know what that means? We finally got the Pixie Dot on our Android account. So we could speed this up. I'm not going to. But we need to wait one day, 23 hours for it to breed. And then another two days for it to finish hatching. So um, it's going to take a little while. And here we are. It finished its little breeding process. And then one day and 22 hours to hatch with VIP on. So there is a delicious little pixie dot dragon next to Atai Zenrin. So I'm just going to hatch Atai Zenrin as well because why not really? So that's a very, very cool looking hatching or hatchery at the moment that we've got. Some pretty cool dragons and not a second pixie dot. Rip. And in other news, we do have a gem spending event that is coming tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I know it's a gem spending event, air quotes. You know, I've got to add the air quotes there because um, a lot of people don't consider gem spending events as events themselves. They're just sort of like a, I don't know, a mini deal in a sense. But um, the main prize for this is going to be the Axolotl Dragon. So, you know, the pink guy that we've wanted for so long. Unfortunately, he's just going to be a gem spending event prize dragon. So, we probably won't be able to get him, of course, because it says, Win the Peacock Dragon from Milestone Rewards and join the race on the leaderboard for the enchanting Axolotl. So, you will have to beat other people in the amount of gems that you spend to get him. And we know that when new dragons come out, in gem spending events, people spend a lot of money. So, don't hold out too much hope. It'll probably be like £100-ish is normally where the top people sit on my brackets or my leaderboards for these. And, you know, people have been saying a good point. It's a gem spending event. And even the milestone, like the in-game milestone, not the leaderboard prize for the peacock, is still normally a lot of gems. So... Wouldn't it just be better to bring out two new dragons during these gem spending events to incentivize more people? Probably. But at the same time, it would probably annoy free-to-play players a little bit too more as well. So that is what is going on tomorrow. And of course, in the meantime, we do have the dinner time events and that going on. Although, I don't really care about these dragons all too much. We've already got the fluffy as well. I forgot. I actually, for a second there, I was like, we don't have the fluffy dragon, do we? No, we do, so we don't even need to care about them at all. He's such a weird little dragon. Gibo! Gibo and a weirdo! But, you know, like I said, gem spending events, to the people that like them, all the power to you, go for it, get that axolotl. But, just be aware that it costs a lot of money if you want to win in those events, so it's up to you whether you want to participate, Choose to participate, choose to not participate. Do whatever the heck makes you happy. Just don't get too triggered when someone surpasses you. Because it's probably going to happen. Just like the Dragon's Delight events. Rip and peace. Rip and peace, uh... What was it? Was it the Vulture Dragon? That's it. That's the dragon that we got cucked on forever ago. <sighs> Very sad days. I never want to be remembered of that dark time ever again. I put in like two pounds during that event, and I got demolished in the last five minutes, so I give up. I give up on life, just a little bit, each time I see that happen to people. But I will, we'll continue on with our, our enchantment materials grind. Uh, we are very far off the trickster, by the way, in case you were going to ask. Uh, I do know of two clans that have the trickster dragon and that is it so far so anyone else want to let me know if a different clan has actually gotten the trickster dragon oh god he's not gonna win this fight but let me know because you know the trickster is definitely a cool dragon i just still have my doubts about the amount of clans that are gonna get a hold of it maybe they'll use it as their staple and go hey look we got the trickster so we're the best clan in the world i don't know I don't know what the deal's gonna be. I just know that, uh, you know, clan stuff and all that can be a pain to manage for a lot, apart from the big clans out there. So, you know, if you did get it, kudos to you. I'm happy for you. 
It does take a lot of work and dedication and trust that your members are going to take part in stuff. So it does take a lot of coordination, which is something that I think deserves to be appreciated. Because people are like, oh, the big clans, they just get everything given to them because, you know, everyone's such a high level anyway that of course they're going to win. That is not how it works. It's not how it works at all, my friend. It takes a lot of effort in the clan events and a couple of the people in the clans that have gotten the trickster, a couple of the members were like, oh yeah, I've spent like 200 gems on the event so far. And I'm like, Jesus, you spend hundreds and thousands of gems every clan event? Holy! I am personally not into that. That is not my in-game fetish, I have to say. So, you know, if you want to do it, I mean, fine. But there are not a great number of people that I feel confident to say they'd be willing to spend a lot of gems during clan events, is all I have to say. And then one of the other members of the same clan said, Nobody spent gems, we just do it through hard work and dedic- And that's just obviously not true as well, because some of your clan members have used gems to be able to hit the point milestones they have to reach to not get kicked out. So, I think there's, for some reason, people are lying on both sides, I don't know why. But, just enjoy it, I mean, why is there always such a fuss with everything? Oh god, are we even going to be able to do these fights? I have no idea. Do you think they have more level 80s? God damn it, I bet he has three level 80s, doesn't he? This is what I get for not replacing the rest of my team. Because if I put all the other dragons in and just didn't leave them dead, we would have been able to do that. Never mind, we could have done that. Because look, he just has a level 80 and another 45. I... Destroyed myself. We could have done that fight. That's what I get for not believing. More so, I didn't want to waste the potion in case, but I, I shouldn't have cared, should I? <sighs> Rip in pee pee peppers. Very disheartening. That could have been some good materials right there, and I just, I just ruined it. Why? Why I gotta do this? Oh well. I'm just so used to expecting everyone to have the three level 80s minimum when I see one. But I shouldn't. Because not everyone has three level 80s. I don't have three level 80s, so why would I assume that? What is wrong with me? I don't know, a lot. It's not even a question I needed to ask really, is it? No. It's like, Clint, why are you even asking that? Hehe. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fine. I'll wreck you in a minute. You're gonna BM me like that? <sighs> I just want food. I just want gold. Give it to me. I wanna level up Saini to level 80, and then we'll start doing some real stuff. Because he'll get to level 80, we should have the enough materials to enchant him as well by then. And then we'll start doing some crazy stuff in the arena or whatever. I don't know. We'll see what happens at the time. Because the arena's actually been pretty kind to us in Dragon Scale League 1 recently. I'm not sure did every every like level 80 full teamed player just drop off the face of the earth or something. No clue. But it's been a pretty sweet ride for getting free clan quests off of those fights and that. So I don't know. And did I just see the student dragon? Yeah, I did. Remember this quest, by the way, Gusty Gangway, where it's got a student, a mentor, and an a academic dragon all in the fight. How cute is that? It's like a little school, or like a little school trip going on, and then you have to beat up all the children. That came out a little bit wrong, but I'm sure you get the idea. That is not my general idea of fun, in case you were thinking that it was. I'm just saying that that's a very strange little fight there. I like the themed fights. Like, you know, there's a very obvious theme running through all the dragons. Like this one here, maybe you could say the witch plus the skeleton. Maybe it's meant to be spooky. But the one with the teacher and that, it's obviously a lot more obvious what they were going for. But oh well. Give me some scrolls soon. Not that I need them. How many scrolls do we even have? 
8,200 left. Look at the level of our dragons. 80, 70, 50, 45, and then all these level 30s because of the stupid ruin exploration. All of those are level 30 for the ruins and that. Ay, ay, ay! Ruins, you're killing me! Takes so much food just to level up garbage. Massive pain in the butt, but... You know, we don't have the Pixie Dot on our Windows account yet. We'll still keep trying. We do have another 10 days left. So, uh, good luck to us. Good luck to you. And, uh, again... Get prepared if you're going to take part in that new gem spending event, but until next time, I'll see you then.